Welcome back to another episode of Checking Out Chili Sauces with Chili Chum. Today we're going to be checking out an American classic, Texas Pete's Hot Sauce. I'm sure if you're an American and you like hot sauce, you've probably tried this before. It's a Louisiana style hot sauce, so similar in style to a Frank's hot sauce or even Tabasco hot sauce. So I'm guessing it's going to be very vinegary. Let's have a look at the ingredients. I'm guessing it's going to have cayenne in there. It just says aged peppers, so it is a fermented hot sauce. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say what type of uh, chilies are in here. But let's give it a go and see what we think. Come on, open. There we go. I'm guessing there's quite a lot of vinegar in here. Uh, that is the first ingredient, vinegar. Thankfully, the second ingredient here is aged peppers. So there will be a decent amount of flavor coming from those. Let's open that up. I'll take the lid off actually. And... It's gotta be cayenne in there. Uh, it's probably mixed with a few other things as well, but it's definitely quite a, a sweet smelling chili. So let's give it a try. It's not as thin as it looks. It's got some xanthan gum in there. Let's have a look at some of the other ingredients before we try it. It's actually not a lot of ingredients. Uh, literally, it's it's majority vinegar, aged peppers or fermented peppers, and water. So, yeah. Let's give that a go. It's quite salty. I think a little bit saltier than... Um, a little bit saltier than Frank's. It's not comparable to a Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce is a lot thinner, a lot more vinegar. It's making my mouth water here. Um, very sweet, lovely, lovely sweet taste for this style of sauce. This is pretty much perfect. Not very hot, but I could see it being used as an everyday sauce. Probably be great in a Bloody Mary. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. If it's uh, at a decent price, it's something I'd buy. Wouldn't spend a lot of money on it, but uh, yeah, it's up there with some of the other Louisiana style sauces. I'm sure it'd be great on wings. It actually has a wings or buffalo style chicken wings recipe on the back here. But yeah, not bad. I think the heat doesn't really linger. The, the heat level is very low, like I said. Manageable for anyone, even if you aren't really a, you know, a spice head, you'll be able to manage it but uh, the flavors are good got a good amount of sweetness but i think i've just used way too much to try and get the heat levels i'd want but yeah not bad texas pete very decent thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you on the next one until then stay spicy